Next question is from ABT CDA. Any particular exercises or foods to help with sperm count and mo- motility? Mm. <laughs> we were just talking about this. <laughs> Doesn't pineapple juice help? Oh, wait, that's not wait, no, just... Ashwin Ganda is what you told me, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah different yeah. different uh, aspect. Yeah, no. Um, so I actually have a friend right now that's uh, that I'm helping with this. They, they're they trying to have a baby, and they, uh, they it took them like six months. Nothing was happening. They went and got tested. Sperm count was super, super low. Um, they changed their sleeping habits and some stress management. They got their sperm count to go up, but still below the number that they say you need to be considered fertile. So we're having this conversation. So there's a couple things. One, anything that will naturally raise testosterone naturally typically also raises your sperm count. And I say that naturally because you could take steroids, which will raise your testosterone, but that'll do the opposite, lower your sperm. So anything that naturally raises testosterone tends to also simultaneously improve uh, sperm count or increase sperm count and improve motility, which is the ability of sperm to to move and their their overall health, right? So uh, lifting weights, but do so in a strength building uh, fashion. Don't focus on trying to lose weight or cut your body unless you're really obese. If you're not obese and you're kind of right around normal weight, even if you're a little heavier than normal weight, Focus on building strength because that's anabolic. Um, that raises testosterone, can also raise uh, sperm count. Um, make sure you have good sleep. You manage your stress properly. As far as foods are concerned, adequate fat, protein, and carbohydrates. You don't want to be too low in anything. Animal fats help a lot with this. Dietary cholesterol might actually help with this. Eggs, egg yolks. Um, make sure you have enough nutrients, zinc, and vitamin D. When those are low, you start to see sperm counts uh, issues start to happen. And then as far as supplements are concerned, ashwagandha, v- very effective and proven. Then on, along those lines, you could try things like uh, tribulus is another herb that can sometimes help men. Um, you have uh, horny goat weed, which might help. That might just be a libido booster, but there's some studies that show that it might help with sperm. But yeah, food, eat those animal proteins, fats, uh, make sure you have enough of all the macronutrients and your calories aren't you know, too low. Isn't this a gigantic market, you know, in the Eastern medicine approach where they end up taking like all the uh, different animals, uh, balls and, and yeah. penises and grind them up and try and get the benefits from that somehow. Or anything that looks like a penis. Yeah, like anything a, like that a looks rhino- like a rhinoceros penis. horse. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to make it into a powder and they're going to put it in their tea. Yeah, it's it's a big, it's just a big thing. You know, ginseng, you know, might help some men and other men. It might not help as much, but... Nothing is going to make the bigger impact than making sure you don't have any nutrient deficiencies. So I said zinc and D could also be B vitamins. Um, make sure you're not like super low carb, definitely not low protein or low fat. Fat in particular, you want to make sure you have adequate healthy fat. I would avoid heavily processed foods. Get good sleep. Here's the thing. Your sperm count really does matter. Uh, you know, Get healthy as possible. It's, really. Exactly, it starts to match your 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 how healthy your body is, and if your body's under stress, your body's not going to try to procreate, right? So your libido is going to drop. So is your sperm count. Um, and I know a lot of guys they got shitty sleep. They're living off caffeine. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not feeling energized without caffeine, if you feel like you can't wake up because you don't have coffee, and if you feel like you can't sleep without having something to knock you out or the way you fall asleep is you crash mm-hmm. in your bed. Like fix that, fix that. Yeah. makes a huge difference. Wear flannels and go on hunting trips. <laughs> yeah. okay. I don't have anything really to add to that except for just to reiterate that instead of getting caught up because this is a, a big market and there's a lot of advertising that goes around this. And so people get caught up in the, the latest, greatest supplement that's out there to try and help them. I, I don't think anything will make a bigger difference than reducing stress, getting good sleep and a three day a week full body strength routine. Yeah, I mean, though, the, to me, that is that's the the big the big rock here. Get those things dialed in a, a good balanced diet, low stress, strength training, good sleep. Those things, if you master that, then the, all the other things watch are, the volume. Yeah, yeah, watch the volume go up. Yeah, yeah. and you know, uh, the best if you want like an organized workout program of all the workout programs that we have, I would say Maps Anabolic would probably. Be most appropriate for a man trying to improve testosterone um, and uh, you know and sperm count. Oh, another supplement. Here's an interesting creatine. Creatine fuels the mitochondria of cells, and some studies show that creatine may actually improve the motility of sperm as well. It's an overall good health supplement. It's one of the only supplements I recommend to everyone, so you can also try uh, supplementing with creatine.